Welcome back guys, it's Caleb from Caleb the Video Maker 2. This video we are going to continue our discussion on Boolean data. This file here is the file we ended with in the previous video. So if you have no idea what's going on here, go check out the previous video. If you understand all of this, you're good. The problem that we're having is not that our code doesn't work, but that it's not very clear. The underscore capital B is kind of confusing and the fact that we're using 9001 I don't really like that, and that's what I'm going to change in this video. There's actually a really easy way to do this, but we're going to have to include another file. So go up to the top and go into insert mode and type in include standard bool.h. This allows us to use new keywords for our Boolean data. So no longer are we going to have to use this underscore bool here. Instead, we can just use a lowercase bool which makes a lot more sense, because if you think of the other data types, they're all lowercase. Int, float, double, char. Now, bool is not the odd one out. Additionally, we're no longer going to use a number here, but instead we are going to use the keyword either true or false. So let's set this to false. Yes, I exercised since the last video. <laughs> one thing you need to notice though, is that false is not in quotes. It's just a keyword. Don't quote it. This is not the same thing. <laughs> the way this thing actually works is no different than underscore capital bool. It just makes it easier to work with. In fact, the values stored are still 0 or 1. So we should be able to run this just the same. Let's write it and we'll compile and output it. And the output is 0 because I set it to false. But we can do more with this. For example, if you come down here, you can put something like this, where in quotes, we are going to output an integer and then go to a new line. And the integer we want to output is actually Caleb is fat plus 10. And that seems really, really odd. But what I just want to show to you is that there is a direct correlation between this and a number. False is zero, true is one. When would you actually do this? Uh, I'm not too sure, but just follow along. <laughs> Let's save this and run it. And you can see down at the bottom, it outputs 10. Just to show that it's working, let's set it to true and make sure the output is 11. So when I change this to true, Caleb is fat and now has the value one. So when we get down here, it should be one plus 10, which equals 11. So let's try it. And you can see the output is 11. If you're wondering where the extra space is coming from, it's right here. <laughs> now there's not a format character to print out the word true or false, but later on when we start talking about conditionals, there are ways where we could output Caleb is fat or Caleb is not fat, depending on the value of the variable. But for now, this is very good and I think this gets the point across of how Boolean data works and how to use it in your program. So hopefully that was helpful for you guys. If you've enjoyed it, please click like and click subscribe as those two things very much help my channel. Thank you guys and I'll see you in the next video where we will be talking about something new.